Both Ken will tell you there is tennis, and then there is tennis. Long John Buffar's form of tennis. It's a little strange, a little interesting. We'll show you all about it when we come back. This past weekend, a big one for tennis fans in southwest Florida. Sonesta Sanibel Harbor's touring pro Jimmy Connors here for a little demonstration, but it wasn't your usual form of tennis, as we hear in this week's chapter of Long John's Journal. Most seem to agree that the game of tennis will never again be the same. It happened back in 1980 when Jim Barker introduced the world to his own brand of tennis. Frying pan tennis. Oh, it's kind of like um, my protest to the high prices of tennis rackets. I went out the other day and tried to buy a tennis racket and they wanted to charge me $125 for the thing. After having beaten yours truly in straight sets with his Teflon model, Barker went on to frying pan fame. Currently recognized as the number one seed in the world. However, even I was surprised when the latest challenger arrived in town. Oh, no! There was no doubt about it. Jimmy Connors was in town to dethrone Barker. But then the moment the crowd was waiting for as the defending champ made his appearance. This is the pro chef model. Uh, yeah, the manufacturer just said to me, oh, he tried out a little bit, so uh, I think he said, try it out on you today. Okay. After proudly displaying his latest pants, Barker said he thought the town was only big enough for one Jimbo. So if I didn't turn your serve, you have to leave town, Jimmy. <laughs> I like his attitude. <laughs> Seemingly unfazed, the challenger took Barker up on his bet, picked up a frying pan, and made his own wager. Five bucks. Five. <laughs> <laughs> loser be the Loser the You, sir. U.S. Open five times and three-time Wimbledon champion, it seemed as though Connors was finally about to win the title he waited a lifetime for, Frying Pan Champ. After his first loss ever, Frying Pan Barker reflects back on the match. Well, obviously he prepared pretty well because he was hitting the ball really well. Um, he had a hot pan out there today. Of course, I did make a mistake by letting him have the P2000 pan. I think I'd have been better off if he had the Pro Chef model. Who do you feel the crowd was rooting for? Well, I felt like the crowd was behind me. I'm the hometown guy. This guy's a relatively unknown in the frying pan world. Uh, he comes into town thinking he can dethrone me. I felt like the crowd was for me, especially the chefs. Then it was time for the trophy presentation. I talked to George Brown. He wanted me to give Jamie Joe Bob his World Series T-shirt because he had always wanted to be a baseball player. Oh, that's so I will treasure that for now, Thank you, sir. While Connors was enjoying his new shirt and title, Barker was left cleaning up the rackets. I'm Long John Bavar with this week's journal. The P2000 available at all of your local kitchen stores. <laughs> and Ken Sneedon is now testing it out, as you can tell. <laughs> Wing 6 o'clock news coming up next. Stay with us. That was good for hitting people over the head. <laughs>